So we're here at the airport, Melbourne Airport, and um, the shower's queuing up. There's not many people, and I've got a sneaky suspicion it could be a problem. So uh, we will see. We booked a hotel there this evening, and until 30 minutes ago, I was assuming we were getting on a flight. So it's really tricky for us. Is that is that any advice you'd give us at all? No, I appreciate that. I'm sorry to, to trouble you. Maybe if you could just put yourself in our position for a minute. I understand, but if I've given you the information, you now need to take that and decide what you're going to do. We'll go to Travel Agent or Book Hotel. We'll go downstairs to the arrival Yeah. I, I'm just making a, a record for myself because we... Why won't be discussing so we actually, So we've arrived here at Melbourne Airport with Tina, the lovely Tina, um, from Jetstar, who basically said, F*** off. <laughs> and find your own hotel. Now, I'll, I'll simplify that. They weren't interested. We actually spoke with them online when they told us our flight was cancelled. So Jetstar actually told us just 30 minutes ago, make your way to the airport where our staff will help you find accommodation. They will help you find accommodation for tonight. So we've just come into Melbourne Airport and the Jetstar staff have basically said, we're not going to help you at all not only have you got to go and find somewhere to stay out of your own pocket which we will reimburse you with but we'll reimburse you maybe sometime so really really shocking appalling Jetstar service um, what would I say we'll be looking not to fly Jetstar ever ever again okay you know it's a tough one Travel is, you know, I've always said I love traveling, I just hate the getting from A to B. And Jetstar have just proven to me just how appalling uh, airlines can be and how completely uncaring um, the staff in these airports can be. It's really shocking. And you get some little, it's hard to put into words, but you know the sort of person I'm talking about. You know the sort of person I'm talking about. Some horrible, poorly trained, careless individual who basically not only doesn't want to help, doesn't, can't help, doesn't want to help, but goes out of her way to make the experience as unpleasant as possible. So Jetstar, what can you say? I mean, they're not a budget airline. This is a, this is a, a normal international flight by a company that could care less. <laughs> anyway, we're not gonna let it get us down. We're, um, we're gonna go and organize ourselves somewhere to stay. We'll be back to fly with the dreaded. I'm really not looking forward to it now because I'm thinking, well, if Jetstar are that bad on customer service, how are they gonna be on their flights? Let's have a look, see if they can redeem one tiny, tiny morsel of human decency. I suspect not. I'm definitely going to call Jetstar out on this 100%. They really shouldn't, firstly, they shouldn't have staff working on a customer service basis that have such poor um, social interaction. Most people know me, I'm so easy, so easy to get along with. Never going to really rock the boat, but my God, did this lady have an attitude before we even got there. And my God, what, what sort of service ask you you know to come in spend your time your effort no no come in come into the airport even though the, the flight's cancelled we're going to book you up and we thought it's going to be in one of these sort of local hotels because there are hotels right next to the airport and when you get there basically just deadpan look at you as if to say what are you doing here get out of my way anyway shame on you Jetstar but usually if somebody could just say well this hotel is not far away you should try this one or, or anything really 